Welcome to my Scrap and Space. I'm Joni Martin, an independent Stamping Up demonstrator located in Southwest Wisconsin. And I'm here to show you the most adorable suite in the new annual catalog. So the annual catalog just went live May 1st. If you don't have a catalog, reach out to your Stamping Up demonstrator. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, reach out to me. I'd love to send you this catalog. Let's get my face out of the way and let's start looking at what we have to see. So this suite is called Lily Pond Lane. I'm going to show you each of the papers because they're too cute. Um, a great stamp set and a die. And the dies let you make ducks. So like you can do this. We're going to use this cutout today on our card. It also, uh, look, okay, there. See those designs? Aren't they just stinking cute? And it has some really fun embellishments. I'm using a different embellishment on our card today, but I could see using these. I really like them. And we have to look at sentiments, of course, because I love the sentiments. Hello, friend. Happy birthday. Have a lovely day. And you make me happy. So let's take a quick peek at the papers, and then I'll show you what we're making. Just moving stuff around here. I have piles of stuff everywhere. So here's the papers. They are so fun. It was one of those suites where I looked at it and thought, I don't know why everybody's getting so excited about it. And then when I started playing with it, I'm like, I kind of get it. I love these papers. So it's about ducks, but they're really pretty ducks. Um, pink and orange. But look at the fish. I didn't even catch there were fish. And beautiful. What would we call this? Lotus blossoms, maybe? And then look at the ducks with the babies. I think this duck did something wrong and he's getting a little talking too. And then here's, this is a piece actually I used on the sample card I'll show you. They're so fun. Isn't this gorgeous? I wouldn't have put these together, but I can't wait to create this as a background. And more ducks. And some of these ducks you can cut out with the dies. Oh, and look at this page of lotus. Another family of ducks. And here you can create your own scene. Cut out the ducks, cut out whatever you want you could put on here. And then, of course, a frog. So let's look and see what's on the back side. And then I'll show you what I did with these. They are pretty cute. And when I heard my other demonstrator's friends going like, oh, I love this. I'm like, I don't get it, but now I do. This is a great background paper. And that's primarily what's on the back, okay? So it's that pr pretty peacock. They have a, a muted kind of thing and a smaller print. This you could use with lots of things. This says baby to me, like, oh, I need to be a baby card. Look at those little pretty flowers. Again, a muted background. Lots of, these are pretty in pink. Oh, look close, guys. I thought this was just marks on the paper. Are they tiny dragonflies? Check that out. That's beautiful. And more fish. How cute are they? And a stripe. So let me show you what I did with it. This is our card. So you can take those scenes and you can put something behind them. I'll show you how easy that is to do. I went with pretty peacock because that was the primary color in the paper I was using. And because it's stamping up, everything coordinates. Let's just fold our card base in half and we'll set that aside. Now those of you who have watched me and made cards with me know that we have a rule of no naked envelopes, but I don't have a paper strip here for this, partly because of how you cut the paper. So when I grab that stamp set, won't that be fun to get that little duck on your envelope? So there you go. As I stamped, I also stamped that. We're making this a birthday card. And I have a different family of ducks in this one. And I wanna quick show you how I cut it to be able to have pieces for the front and the inside. Let's grab this one. That's the design we're using. And it's the one with the pink on the back. Sometimes when you have so many duck papers, it's easier to find, go by the back. It's this one. All right. So this is what I did. I wanted, this is a one inch strip. I wanted a one inch strip from the bottom, so I cut that first. I like a half inch strip for the inside. I cut that second. So then what I had left I laid 
So once you've trimmed the one inch off, the one inch and the half inch, then I kind of laid this here and lined it up where I wanted. And I made really light pencil marks and then just trimmed it to fit on there. So this piece is slightly smaller. That will make it easier to line it up on the back. But that's how I did it to get the most out of there. Okay, look. Look how cute that is. Let's work on our card. So first, we're going to attach the bottom piece. This is going on the inside. And that's going right there. You could line it up at the bottom. I did not. I left a little bit of the card showing. Now, on my first one, let's call this the prototype. I had a narrower band, but I, I decided I wanted to cover the whole label. I mean, I wanted the whole backing on the label, so I went to a larger one this time, and I think I like the look. And we're just gonna line this up, throw some adhesive on the back. And go from there. Just like that. And I think I want to see some of both. Um, there. Then we will take care of that. Just like that. Okay. Oh, yes, I had an adhesive on the back of there. All right, that's going. So then this is the piece that's going on here. And I'm going to get a little crazy with uh, embellishments. And let's see, I'm smiling because I just got a notice from my iPad that it's low on power. They, that's the kind of day it's been, folks. Let's see if we can get through this video and then we'll give it some power. So that's going there. This is going here. I'm using the edges because that's a good thing to do. And I'm feeling like I should go much faster because I'm going low, but We've been struggling a little bit with technology the last couple of days in my scrap and space. And so um, I'm just kind of smiling to myself like, yes, I forgot the most basic, like keep that plugged in between filming. Okay, let's pop those off. There we go. Got that one and this one. And what we're going to do is lay this down and kind of lay it over it. What I want to make sure is that the paper goes to the top of the circle and that it's not sticking out the side. Now, if it comes out the side, you could really just trim it. Okay, how cute is that? So then I want to make sure, nope, nothing's coming. So it's really close here at the top. So this is what we're going to do. No one's going to see the back of your card. We're just going to get in there and trim off some of that. There we go. How easy was that? So we're this will help your card stick up, but you have all this flat space. So we're just going to add a little adhesive to that. And that's going right there. Then th I die cut these out of one of the other colors that's down there. It's granny apple green. And I'm gonna put adhesive just at the bottom because I want them kind of loose, like they're floating by. And I made this a birthday card, but it'd be a fun thinking of you or, you know, there's not really you don't need a lot. I mean, it isn't like you need just one reason to send a card. People would be thrilled to get this card. I think it's kind of fun. It could be a kid's card, but really you can send it to anybody. It'd bring a smile to somebody, especially somebody who lived by the water. Their ducks may not be as colorful as these, but then that's okay. So look what just those two little die cuts did to kind of frame it and bring it together. Then the other thing is, like I said, I did not use these. I used 
these that, um, that are part of the two market suite, adhesive back dapple dots. And they had a lot of colors that were in here. On this card, I did this more like, I'm thinking more like water drops is what my, my thought was. But I could also grab the Granny Apple Green ones, but I really like the idea of water drops. So, but here's what I'm gonna do first. Sorry, I'm gonna do the birthday greeting. And I'm just gonna put it right here. I felt like having a, a wider band anchored it more, but I don't know, I think either one would work. It's your card, you get to decide. We're gonna put one right here. Again, we're doing an odd number three and we're doing a roughly triangle. And the easiest way to do roughly a triangular shape is one by itself and two together, closer together. And you have that shape. All right. I have my duck stamped on the front. On the inside for the birthday greeting, I also took something from the stamp set that says, have a lovely day. We're gonna just, this was that strip I took off the top. We're just gonna put a light layer of glue along there and attach this. And the thing about the green glue is I can move this till I have it right where I want it at the top. Give it a second to set and trim. I really want to use this pink on the back too. Okay. And then we're just going to add this to the inside of our cart. <laughs> I'm out of tape runner. It's been one of those days in the scrap and space. It's a good thing that crafting calms me because otherwise I'd kind of be over the edge right now, folks. All right. There we go, and there is our Lily Pond card. It is part of the Lily Pond suite. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it more than you know. Until next time, take care and keep crafting. It's good for you.